Hi guys, welcome to Harmonies from Home. I'm Amy and today I'll be introducing you to the cello. The violin cello or cello is a bowed string instrument that can produce tenor and bass sounds. In an orchestra, we tend to accompany the violins and violas. Just like other string instruments, a cello has four strings. However, unlike the violin and bass, our strings are A, B, G, and C, with A being the thinnest and highest sounding string and C being the thickest and lowest sounding. At the top of the cello, there are four pegs, which are these black knobs. Medium to large tuning adjustments can be made by turning these knobs. For smaller tuning adjustments, we use the fine tuners, which are at the bottom of the cello. Cello fingerboards are made of very hard wood and provide a surface for us to place our fingers and determine pitch. Hand positioning on the fingerboard is extremely important, or else our music will be out of tune. Like the violin, viola, and bass, cellos also have two F holes. These amplify our sound. Near our sound holes is the bridge. The bridge is held under a lot of pressure of the four strings on top of it. The vibration of the string is transmitted to a larger surface, allowing our sound to be louder. Finally, we have our tailpiece. The main purpose of this is to connect our four strings to the bottom of the cello. One unique part of cellos and basses are their engines. Cellos cannot comfortably sit and play without one. So how do cellos create sound? It's mainly by two ways, and the first way is pizzicato, or plucking the string with our fingers. is by using our bow. The frog is the part of the bow where the cellist holds, allowing the hair to touch the string. The less common way to make sound with your bow is through colegno. This is when you hit the stick onto the string. We usually use this for special effects during orchestras. As you saw, there are a lot of parts of a cello that help us make music. I hope this video helped you learn about a few introductory components and spark your interest into learning more. Please subscribe to Harmonies from Home for more educational and entertaining videos about classical music. Thank you!